well, like, we, turn we, around we and be tried. like, oh. We can't, like, oh, I didn't notice you there. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Who the F is Rob White? I am Rob White, and my uh, guest on the show, two-time offender, <laughs> back for his second uh, uh, ch shot on the chopping block here, whatever you want to call it. Uh, ha -ha, Joe, ha -ha. Joe Winchell, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Yeah. Uh, he didn't uh, die yet. No, I've... <laughs> yeah, I got a sling on. We, we lost money. We thought night. he'd be dead. But here he is, trying for another tattoo. Today, we're tattooing. I don't know if this camera yeah. picks it up over here. It? Yeah, it, it is the... Um, How's that know, look, Chris? Drawing here, maybe it's a little easier. It is a, um, a dragon, Smoke and he's weed. smoking uh, mar marijuana. Yeah. I like how you put it in his mouth like a cartoon. Like I like that. Like I think that's, or, yeah, that's fun that way. Makes it interesting. Now, we got the coil machine today for everybody. They're like, what is that noise? That is the sound of a coil yeah. tattoo machine. So, hopefully, if we're loud enough, the levels on this should be excellent, eh? and we should have a, uh, a solid show. Wait, is this the first time using the coil on the show? Yeah. Is that that's a big deal too, right? Yeah, I, I like it better. I do. Why do you like the coil better? Because I like all things that are old and antiquated. That's true. I do. I your, like that kind of your stuff. Your corner here looks like, I don't know, just a museum in Branson, Missouri. It just it looks like that kind of uh old timey sort of uh no, I don't know what very, we're doing. And this looks like the front shop to like uh, Cracker Barrel. A cracker barrel. <laughs> Real nice, real nice, this guy. Oh, I love you. I'm happy to be on again. Well, I'm happy to have you back here oh, again. Yeah, I know. Getting to do cool stuff, which is always a bonus on the show, you know. Well, I'm hungover today. You were hungover last night. So this should I be was. Fun. I was hungover. It What's was pretty... the next game, right? Yeah, I did. I didn't... Did you just go? You and Diana just went, or no? No, the whole shop went. Oh, it was like a <laughs> shop trip. And did yes. you just get sloshed on uh, Keystone Light? I was drinking everything. I was drinking all the different uh, beverages that they have, um, which was enjoyable. Wait, was so you just, wait, like you drank, <laughs> did they have like a specialty drink, like the amazing Mets martini? No, they had like, uh, whatchamacallit, they had like whiskey, bourbon drinks and stuff uh, like okay. that, you know? Is that just cool? Do they have like a bar in there, or is it just they like... They have everything. Have you I haven't been, been, to in, I haven't been to New Mets Stadium. I want to. I, I haven't been. I haven't no. been. I've been to the Yankee Stadium, but I haven't been to New Mets. The Yankees are fucking boring. Well, my friends are Yankees fans. They're boring, though. That's it. I like the Yankees it. are like... Uh, Baseball is a game of anticipation, though. Yeah, but the Yankees are just like, uh, Doug Stanhope said it best when he said it, it's just like going to a casino and rooting for the blackjack dealer. You know what I mean? It's like you're you just back there being a dildo. I'm just saying, I've been to the thing. <laughs> Whatever. Pick a good team. I didn't say I was a Yankees fan. I like the Yankees. Yeah, yeah. I like most New York teams. Oh. So you know, how, you, how you been, Joe? What are you up to lately? I'm fine. I fucking threw my shoulder out the other night. It's like that. No, huh? I didn't throw it out. That's not the time. It, it popped out. I was, I, I was being, I was very drunk. Even your shoulder doesn't want to be with you. Is that what you're trying to say? What you do? <laughs> <laughs> Even your shoulder is just like. Can I just be? Uh, Get away else. from this fucking hack! Like, <laughs> uh, fucking jokes he's doing. Oh God. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, we got a show last night, and then I went meet up with some friends, and then I got fucking shit house. And I just was talking to my my good friend James outside, and I just threw it out. And then he had to pop it back in while I held on to the hood of the car. And then I went back inside and drank six more beers. That's uh... And I slept on his couch. It didn't hurt until the morning. That sounds like every like pop country song right now. Yeah, the pop country song? Yeah, that sounded like a pop country song, the whole thing. We got Toby Keith answer? Yeah, Toby Queef. Toby Queef? Toby Queef. What do they call that? Uh, dislocated beers? Dislocated beers. Oh, yeah, that sounds like dislocated beers. <laughs> dislocated beers. <laughs> I don't know. Down the Oasis drinking. The Oasis? Whatever, 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 whatever the name of their bar is. Some... I thought you literally meant like an Oasis out in the middle of the desert. Oasis, the band Oasis. We talked about them earlier. We talked about the them. We like them. Well, I thought there was a thing where there was like a big gap between the albums and they just had to, they like, they had to like, they got lazy because they they were like such huge hits in the 90s. But uh, I don't think it was like a 10 year gap. No, they were the. Uh... It was the 90s, we were like looking for the Beatles, and that's how we got it. Well, I'm forward just a little bit for you. Yeah, no, this is all, this all seems to be pretty good. Fine. I, uh, There's a lot of pictures of me like this in, in, on bars. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, well, you look like you're being arrested. <laughs> Joe, stop resisting. I'm not, re I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting, sir. 
Right, what's the next game when you got squashed? Yeah, I drank a little bit more than I should have. <laughs> but that's what's gonna happen it's sometimes. Like, yeah, it's fun to get drunk at a baseball game. I always get drunk at the baseball it, game. It's fun. It is, but I'm getting too old for hangovers now. Oh, is that bad? Yeah, I kind of feel you. Yeah, you know, you wake up in the morning and your first thought is, no! No, I don't scream that loud. I, I just, scream like that. I just start crying. I know, you cry and you have to like do something, you know? Cause like I'll, it's like I get four hours before the hangover wakes me up. Um, yeah, like when, like my hangover will wake me up. Cause when I have a headache, it's the worst thing in the world. Like I can't do anything until it goes away. It's terrible. I have friends that can sleep through that shit. I don't know how the fuck they do that. That's no, you insane gotta to me. Oversleep the hangover. I just can't. McNeely does that shit. Can sleep it, outsleep it. Yeah, you can outsleep it to some degree, yeah, but you like, can't do it for too long. No. No, but like, yeah, I feel you on that. Like, really, my body's just shitty. I just dry heave all day. Oh, no. See, I don't get like that. I get like, I get like panic attacks, though, with my hangover. <laughs> You're bad. Yeah, I'll get like panic. What do you mean you get a panic attack? I'll get like chest pains and shit. Che I just think you have chest pains? I feel like I'm dying and I'm, uh, it's not real. It's like fake. That's a word I say all the time. It's like, fake I'm dying. dying. Like, I'm like, like, I think I'm dying. dying. And then they're like, yeah. are you really, though? And then you like study it out and you're like, not really dying. You're you're just having another panic attack. It's just, just lame. Panic attacks are the worst. Why, because you think you're having a heart attack? And there's no point yeah, and there's no, like, it's not really a heart attack. It's like, it's just being, it's just your anxieties and childhood trauma coming out, you know? <laughs> you're like, oh, cool, I'm glad my childhood trauma can come out, like, in the form of just random yeah, it's chest like pain. a time hop that only shows you the shittiest <laughs> moments of your life. Time hop. I like that time hop. It's so fucking good. <laughs> it hurts so good. No, it's fine. Really, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not one of those guys that's like, book doesn't hurt, but it really doesn't hurt as bad. Like I've I know I've talked to this about before, but like when I see videos of people passing out, that's crazy. Well, it, that's not because it hurts. That's just because they're thinking about it so much. You know, and also because they've been uh, oh, it's just the not idea not breathing. It. You know, oh yeah, like you're you're more afraid of the scenario in your head. And then when it actually happens, you pass out, not even from the feeling, just from the, from the idea in your head. It's sense. just, you just like start thinking about it. You're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to get sick. I don't feel well, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, you're lying on the floor and I'm standing over you with a fucking hammer. <laughs> and by hammer, yeah. <laughs> That's me just standing there. Oh my goodness. Got any plans for Memorial Day? Um, no, I'm mostly just going to work in the yard, you know. That's how I remember. Work in the yard? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm so lame. I'm gonna. I have a yard. I got to work in. Like I I'm figured, gonna, I just mow the lawn. I literally gotta mow the like. Like yeah, that's how I remember the soldiers. I uh. <laughs> do you got? Do you do anything on Memorial? No, Day? I used to throw a fucking party at my house every year, but like it just you know, it just, it's a lot. Well, because your dad's a veteran, so I feel like you. I feel like your dad just whatever he wants to do, you have no choice but to do. Kind of. That's how we grew up. That's why we didn't go any theme parks when I was a kid. Yeah, you're not a... No, uh, I went to Gettysburg a fuck ton. That's a lot right there. Yeah. That's just like, oh, here's just the blood-soaked soils of Pennsylvania. Yeah, they're like... I had friends in high school that were like, this is a picture of me with Goofy, and I'm like, cool, this is a picture of me at Pickett's Charge. You know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I just start spitting out facts, because I don't know. I did. I never... We never did, like, Disney or anything like that. Then again, I never asked to go to Disney, but it was never like one of those things where. Wouldn't it be a bitch if all these years later your dad was like, I would have taken you? Like, I thought you really. Oh, yeah. No, my mom said that to me about because I wanted to go to wrestling shows as a kid. She's like, you never asked. And I'm like, ah, it's fair. Like, I just never, I was just a spec. Like, that's where, that's where my fucking mental hiccup started. I'm like, she's going to say no. Yeah. Why put myself out there? <laughs> you just thought that all those, those times they would have just known, but they didn't know? Exactly. No, not that I expected it, but I was just like, I just assumed you'd be like, because I watched a lot of TV. This is a problem. I watched a lot of TVs where it's like shitty parents who are like, I'm not taking you to see fucking Aerosmith Eric or whatever the fuck was on Boy Meets World that week. Uh, and I'd be like, all right, they're going to say no, because TV parents are the same. Yeah, and that was it. <laughs> <It's> stupid. <laughs> but you could have you could have gone to see... That was more on his job. <laughs> right. Aerosmith with Topanga and the rest of the crew. I mean, that would have been great. Yeah. That would have been cool. That a cool time. Mr. Feeney would have drove the station wagon. You didn't go to like fucking battlefields when you were a kid? Yeah, no. I, I feel like your dad dragged you to like Jamestown, all those fucking Yeah, places. we were definitely, uh, hey guys, let's see the Amish. Like, oh, cool. You went down and saw the Amish? Of course. I feel like every 
like parent that doesn't have it like <laughs> good going on, you know what I mean? Like not the money wise, is like, hey, let's go look at people that have less money than us to make you feel better about the fact that we're staying at a motel. We're not staying at a hotel ever. We're staying at a motel. But hey, it could be worse. You could be living in a tent with fucking Isaiah and Judah. In the middle of farm country. Yeah, you could be riding in the back of this fart maker over here, the horse, clip clop, clip clop. <clears throat> cool. They're such easy targets, the Amish. <laughs> Talk about them all you want. They're not gonna see this. Well, they should. Imagine. Imagine if one day Imagine they a do. you get a pigeon or some shit. I don't know how they're gonna send you mail. I guess regular mail. I don't know why they have to fly pigeons. But <laughs> they're not gonna use the English. You get, a you get some sort of angry no. hate letter on like parchment written in old English. <laughs> ye bastard. Maybe that that angry at me. I heard from ye old friend and ye old friend Jezediah, Hezekiah, and Jebediah that you spoke ill of us on your cast of pods. Cast of pods. <laughs> I don't know why they're like fucking. I cast the pods though. I would love it if you're the one comic that gets threatened by the Irish on a, uh, the, the Amish on a daily basis. The day. Irish? Yeah, the Irish threaten you. Confuse the Irish with the Amish real quick. That's why. That's what happened. It'd be weird. It'd be a weird time. Like, crowds like you, Rob? It's like most of the crowds. Not the so Amish. The Amish Irish, seem to hate me. The Irish Amish. How come, you know what? Here's the fucking thing. The Amish came from over there and like. The Dutch area, right? That was what it was, the Dutch. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, yeah. Or Germany or some dumb thing. I think there's German. If I remember Colin Quinn's New York special correctly, the the German, they went to two places. They went to New York and opened up delis, and then they went to Pennsylvania and they basically became dairy farmers or whatever. That's what they, that's what they did in Germany. There's a lot of farm country. And so that's why we have. Delicatessen, I think, is a German word. I thought it was the, the Jews that did that. German Jews? Look it up, Chris. I don't want to piss anybody off on this. <laughs> yeah, because I always thought but that I that thought was it was like a their... German, a Ger German Jews, probably. Well, it has to be. Right. But there's so I much. Guess. There's so much. I don't know. Like, there's so many. There's so many different. Like, when all, everybody, I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. Are, uh, it's a German word. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, Yeah, I'm, like, with Israel, I'm just, oh, like, fuck. God you damn know, it. <laughs> like... I don't, oh, here's the thing. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I don't care. Now we're on riveting I topic. don't, you're like, but what about the Ukraine? And I'm like, I don't care. What do you, what do you mean? You gotta care. Do you understand the level of not giving a shit? Do you understand? This is how I feel about the Ukraine, okay? I could be watching TV, and if some horrific thing is happening on TV, like there was a tornado, and it tore through this fucking thing, and it's destroyed the children, everyone's screaming, everyone's crying, oh my God, oh my God. And then, and then they say it's like, more than like a state away from me, I'm like, Pum, yeah, we should change the channel. <laughs> I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, if, if it's like, if it happened in all Long Island, I'm like, oh, oh, I give a shit. But News 12, <laughs> like, my pro, it's about what happens, and it should be. That should be all of our actual logical thoughts and feelings is when we hear something horrible has happened, okay. we should be like, how close to us did it happen? <laughs> How close to it? Will this away? affect me in any way, shape, or form? Is there gonna be weird things washing up on the ocean now because of the fact that there was a war in Ukraine? Like, no, uh, then I don't care. Is the sun gonna come up tomorrow? Is it gonna be orange? Cool, I don't care. I don't care. Stop trying to make me care about shit. We literally went through COVID, right? And we couldn't, before you went into a supermarket, you had to play like hopscotch and put your left foot in, your left foot out and do the hokey fucking pokey before yeah. you could buy a pack of chewing gum. Yeah. And nobody said anything. And now with Ukraine and, and Israel, and we're like, oh, I have opinions. I don't have opinions. I don't either. You didn't? I don't know didn't, anything about it. You let Dr. Fauci. I don't know any fucking thing about it. I read comic books. They have popsicle sticks for fucking lunch. I don't, I don't fucking... I just hate when people come up to me and they're like, what do you think about this? And I'm like, I think I woke up at noon today and watched the first hour of Back to the Future and then jerked off. I don't think you want to talk to me about what's happening over in fucking Israel right now. Because I don't know dick. We, we lived in this and country. Yes. Dr. Fauci, they had like, they, they paraded him through like, 
like when Hitler invaded France and they took pictures yeah, of him there. in front of the Arc de Triomphe. Like, there it was. There's Dr. Fauci. was like, rrr, 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 rrr. and everyone was like, we love you, Fauci. We, they were throwing roses Rob, at him. this seems like an opinion on something. They were throwing roses <laughs> at him like a, like a matador in a bullfighting ring. They were, we, we, we were trying to suck his dick. Through his pants. And Everybody then, hates him, right? Well, because he was a like, piece of shit. I don't know. I, didn't, I don't watch the news. I'm just telling you guys what I know is true, and what I know is I have a lot of money that invested like Evan Weiss. in pharmaceuticals. Evan Weiss is Dr. Fauci. <laughs> None of this is usable right here. None of this. <laughs> no, I love this. This is great. I'm using all of this. Every time he runs out of stuff, you just... Uh, you're, you're one of my favorite people just because every time you're like, Mitchell, come here. And I'm like, what's up? And you'd be like... Ah, uh, uh, get away from me. <laughs> like, yeah, just I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm done with your ways. Oh, my God. Nobody's mean like you. No, but you have to be mean, you know? I don't mean that in a bad way, but, like, to I mean, people, funny. people, if you care about them, you know, you can't just, oh. you know, you know what I mean, Joe? You know, you can't just bullshit these people in your lives. You jerk off, you're actually saying I yeah, love I'm you. just I saying, that. you know what, that it's, it's, it's a care. It's a care that's it's inside care. of me. I'm telling you, know? you, when I call, when I tell you to go fuck yourself and die, it's because I don't want you to I really die. You, you know, <laughs> no, that'd be crazy. No, 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 no. I mean, fucking off a little bit, but not die. That's Maybe, no, definitely fuck off. But don't yeah, die. Nah, no one should do that. Unalive yourself, guys. Unalive yourself. <laughs> Is that what they call it? That's what they call it now. Unalive. That's what all the kids are saying. Because that shit's fire. That shit's Liddy, Liddy McGiddy, Unalive. Liddy like a titty. Unalive almost sounds worse in a lot of ways. It does. It sounds like it's like is that it sounds like something a doctor calls like a fucking new dad who has a stillborn. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, that was ooh. dark. <laughs> ooh. Chris just winced. <laughs> I feel like the that. word stillborn is just oh like my stillborn. god, that's awful. <laughs> Why did I say that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't been drinking. The enough. stillborn ultimatum. Fuck you. <laughs> Jason Stillborn. <laughs> Stupid. Jason Stillborn. <laughs> just like. He's just a fetus. That's dead. <laughs> we, we have to call Jason Stillborn. It's just like, him on the floor like a pup. No one's called him in ten years. <laughs> yeah. Jason Stillborn. <laughs> he's just like laying there like. Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> he's in a jar, so you can't really hear him correctly. Jason Stillborn. So if I can see it, if you, CBS will pick that shit up. Probably FX. That sounds like an FX show, actually. Wait, is he? Is he? Is it better to do like he's the fe he's the the fetus partner of somebody? I have no idea. I didn't making, go. We're making I didn't TV deep, shows right I now. I didn't Come deep on. dive so Spit hard into it right now. Just give me the whole plot. Well, we this. had the other. We had a show the other day. You could with uh, my Boston wife. Yeah, my Boston wife. Because my <laughs> Boston wife. You know. And she, that's your king of queens. If you make it, that'll be your king of queens. Everyone is, but like that's the show is based on like, she's like from from like you know. Like Charlestown or we're Southie or whoever, you know, yeah. and, and and she'll just be ultra over the Where top. Where they filmed those Ben Affleck movies? But but sure. yeah, but everyone else, it's like we're in Idaho or something, you know. No, but it's, you have to be out like so. It's got to be like you and your Boston wife, but you live in Branson, Missouri. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, Branson. That's that's where it's at. I heard Branson. I heard it's fucking. That's the shit right there. I always it's like I always use that as like. No, I, ass that's town. where you know who headlines Branson all the time. Who headlines Branson all the Yakov time? Yakov Smirnov. Yakov Smirnov is still fucking around. Yeah, he's like, well, what the country? Look at me, I am Yakov Smirnov. <laughs> he was. Is that the Gong Show? Is that where he came from? The Gong Show? I don't know. I don't remember uh, if it was that far back. Is that his real name Yakov Smirnov? No, no come right? on. This is definitely this is during the Cold War. Is this is during it, the Cold War? Yeah. It, it was it was originally like something else, but like the Smirnoff vodka was probably like huge, and they were like, "Let's do that. That'll be fun." Yakov yeah, everybody, Yakov, whack off. Is that really? He actually had lines, Branson. I heard he's got like a, a like a residency down there. What residencies in Branson. I that's what I was saying, but you know what? You got to think about the that's people. Like if you went to me and be like, "Oh yeah, I also perform in you know Kansas City, Missouri." Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing you got to think about, right? Now, most people in this country, like when yeah. we, or the people that we know, when they go on vacation, they go into places that, you know, are like fun and exciting. And yeah. It's like, like, right, but there's a whole shitload of people that live in the middle of um, middle America, right? They're just, and their whole lives are just like, they're like 80% as much fun as we are having right now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like this, this would be like Christmas and New Year's rolled into one if they were here right now. And so they live down there in, 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 
you know, places like that you wouldn't even want to go. So when they get like a couple of ducats together, when like their disability check comes in, like okay. when they get like whatever, like, you know, someone passes away, they go to Branson. They stay at like a nice motel. They get like, you know, like they get a couple of eggs, some flapjacks at the Waffle House. Like they're living it up. And they go back home and, you know, maybe there's enough money left over. They can get like an above ground swimming pool or something, you know. That's it. That's, and then that's they your die. whole life, an above ground swimming pool. That's, that's it. That's above ground swimming pool up. is like stepping in it. You know what I mean? Like, water, that's a swimming pool. Even, like, how deep is an above ground swimming pool? It's like, like five feet, right? It's, uh, it's just a, a tub. It's basically, yeah. I mean, that was always disappointing when you had the friend that was like, come over and swim in my pool. And you're like, oh, fuck yeah, we're going over to Eric's. And then you get over there and it's a fucking above ground pool. You're like, this sucks. <laughs> like, there's no. No one's ever had fun in an above ground pool ever. No. At all. It's... No one's ever been excited to be like if you were like if your parents went to you when you were a kid and you were just like, we're getting, kids are getting a pool and they drop that shit on you, you're like, fuck you, mom and dad. Everybody's gonna fucking uh, call me like pool faggot or something now. Like it's all pool faggot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim Thompson had a line. I, 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 I believe it was Tim Thompson. I just contribute because it was good and, and anything that's good, I'm usually like, that's that's him, but if someone knows this line, and, and I was wrong, but like uh, above ground swimming pools are for uh, children and alcoholics. Yeah, that, that might be a Tim Thompson. It might line. be, you know, it could have been Pat Dunn. You know too. the Hedberg line, right? It could have been Pat Dunn, because he's he's pretty good. I saw a commercial, you know the Mitch Hedberg one? No. I saw a commercial for an above ground pool, and it was 30 seconds, which is oh. that's the maximum amount of time you're allowed to have fun in an above ground pool. If it was 31 seconds, somebody would be standing there going, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Stare at Gary's knees? Throw the ball to Ricky? That's what it is, throw the ball to Ricky. Put on some goggles, yeah. No, it was no. the fucking worst. I, there was everybody, my friend, I grew up I grew up in out east though, so everybody was rich, so it's fine. Yeah, like you were just, <laughs> no, you, was, Joe's like, not me though. The pool. We had one friend with a pool, my friend Henry. He had a pool, uh, so everybody would go over there. Henry's pool. And it was pool. an in pool. <clears throat> in ground pool costs a lot of money. Does it? That yeah. Costs more, does that really cost a lot of money? It seems like it would be cheap. That's why people get it. No, I didn't know how much an in ground pool cost either until my dad. Oh, in ground or above my ground? My dad, uh, no, an in, uh, in ground pool, not above ground. In ground pool. I didn't know how much they cost until my dad like told me about how expensive his pool was that he doesn't even like. And I was like, he's like, he's like, son, you know how much this thing cost me, and I don't even like it. I have a waterfall, and it's it's like a two-ton waterfall. And you know what? I don't, I don't even turn it on. And I was like, thanks. Thanks for making me feel poor today. <laughs> I don't even turn the water on. I don't even... Uh, I don't even use it, son. Oh, God. That's fucked up. He likes to just sometimes tell me how much money he's got. He's just like, let gotta, you know. I gotta go like, now. I just want you to know I'm still better than you. Like, it's... Just... Well, you own your own business, huh? Do you have a pool that you don't use? I haven't made it yet, have you? Do you ever put filet mignon in a, an omelet? I do that sometimes. Or I just feed it to the dog, you one or two. You feed filet mignon to a lobster and then eat the lobster? Oh man, how cool would that be? Like a turducken almost. Like a turducken, yeah. Well, what would we call that? Uh, lobster steak. Lobster steak. Imagine how good that would taste. You ever think about like pigs taste amazing, right? But yeah. pigs eat all kinds of just whatever, right? Yeah, they eat a lot of right. shit. A lot, a lot of shit, you know? But what if you just gave pigs Nothing to eat but bacon. Hear me out. It's a little I fucked up. I feel like up. there's pigs. That there's like it's very fucked up, but I, I I'm almost positive that this is a thing. It's a thing. Bacon fed pigs. Bacon fed pigs. <laughs> we fed these pigs. Nothing I, or but bacon. Or something like it. Maybe not exactly that, but there's something like they cannibalize. They like feed them themselves. That's fucking crazy. That'll be something. Bacon fried rice. <laughs> Bacon fried rice? No, what was it? Bacon? Would you say bacon stuffed pig? Yeah, yeah, bacon yeah. Bacon fed pigs. Bologna fried rice? Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's... If you went to the Chinese restaurant right now and they had bologna fried rice, would you try that? Of course you would. Did you get it? Of course you would. You would try bologna that. Bologna fried rice? This is a bologna fried rice? Of course. What's the worst junk food thing you've ever ordered? The worst junk food thing like I've most, ever like, ordered? the most indulgent, like, covered in cheese thing you've ever made or got for yourself. Oh, I don't even know. Trichinosis. Oh, wow. Trichinosis is something that you get that will kill you. 
Is it? Yeah. How do you know that? Did you raise pigs? No, I remember being told that as a kid, like trichinosis was like Who one of those things. Who told you that? What pig farmers eat? did you know? No, it was just like a known thing Where'd in my household. School? It Barn? was just a family fucking thing. We all a knew family about trichinosis. Weird and incestuous, Rob. Trichinosis. Which trichinosis? I don't know. Do you have, is, is your pig uh, farm? What is it? Blood disease. Oh, it's a blood disease. Uh, it's a rare foodborne disease called uh, caused by eating raw or undercooked meat from animals infected with uh, uh, microscopic parasites. This boring ass episode is brought to you by the Learning Channel. Yeah, no, we're just learning stuff on this. This is it. You're just Ugh, learning it's gross. stuff today. What are you, want, want more facts? Gross. I get you have fun facts for you. What do you got? I don't know. I told you, I know a lot about animal attacks. <laughs> animal attacks? Uh, World's Wildest Police Chases. What else? Uh, what's your favorite X-Men? Uh, oh, come on. Really? No. Uh, don't start talking about comic books and about shit. Comic books. You fucking nerds with your you comic book. And you're, you're a nerd? Look at all this stupid nerdy shit on your no, wall. Uh, all cool stuff, pretty uh, much. Yeah, that's what anybody says. We're like, oh, you mean awesome shit ahead of a dragon on the wall? The firearms are fucking Swiss, that's okay? What, yeah, firearms are fucking Swiss. Right. Everyone loves that shit. Yeah, mad, firearms are cool. Mad cool. It's, it's you have something bitching. On the, you have something on the wall that looks like it should be in a video game made in Japan. What? 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 What is that? Which? Wait, I, all of them. It's a weapon? It's not. It's not. I mean, it's, it's a, what is it? No, f you. This. Are we done? No, we're not done. <laughs> just, just, it's a three-barreled <laughs> pistol. Okay, it's called a duck's foot. Or a boarding gun, you use that when you go on a on a ship. You you you, you point like this, and you yeah. point it, you point it at everybody. Yeah, I'm sure. At everybody, I'm then. Sure, I'm sure it has. Then, then you back up. You back up. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it's cool. There's nothing nerdy about that at all. Sweet bell here. Listen to this. Nice. Dorky, all nice look, things. Dorky, all nice bell. things. Where'd you get that fucking bell? The that stupid bell? Stupid shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Cool. What do you got in your house? Just what's that? Just go, just, figures on the wall. Just, just fucking pop figurines no, and shit. No, I don't have pops. I never got. Look at that. this one. It looks just like every pop figurine ever. They all look the same. They're just different colored paints. That's all they are. Stop it. Stop collecting them. Most of this art looks the same. Did you draw all this? It's like an Easter egg. It's the same fucking shape. You just put a different color on it. Used your pause markers or whatever. I don't have pops. I never got into pops. Ah, uh, sorry. You look like a pops kind of guy. No. I have the I have Ghostbusters figures. My favorite thing. Ghostbusters, like yeah, old yeah. ones. Yeah, I like old ones. That's pretty cool. I like uh, Ghostbusters. I love yeah, everyone loves Ghostbusters. It rules. I wish the uh, I wish the ghosts like were like that though in real life. What do you mean like what, how they were Ghostbusters? Yeah, like they fucking get it done, you know. Wait, like what do you mean get it done? Like they had slime and shit. Oh, you and said. All that. Yeah, I always said if that job was real, I would go for it. People were like, well, you can do that. I'm like, no, no, no I don't want to do that. I don't want to go. Yeah, no, you gotta hang out with Zach Bagans. Yeah. I'm Zach Bagans. One why, time. That's why that, because when I was a child, people, real ghost hunters or whatever, this is the worst. Nobody thing. gets slimed, right? You fucking. No one's slimed. No one's carrying a weapon Ecto either. Ectoplasm's like dusty. They're all just carrying, like, listen, uh, listen uh, with this uh, device right here, I think I recorded the sound of a ghost, and they play some fuzzy. <laughs> like, did you hear it? And then did you hear like, said? God damn it, you're ruining this for me. A bunch of queefs and fucking affliction shirts with sunglasses on at night. And then it was like, whoa, bro, dude, whoa, yo, did you hear that? <laughs> That's what it is, it's all them going like, did you hear that? And you just were like, I guess, what the fuck? Yeah. Where's the PKE meter? We don't have that, we don't have the PKE meter, that wasn't in the budget. Yeah, you need a guy oh, named Egon. No, I've got a recording box, it's called a spirit box. It's a fucking Walkman is what it is. It's a fucking Walkman. Spirit box. That's what they call it. They call it a spirit box. That's um, what they guess the white ghost, noise. Ghost the pussy. Noise. That's what it is. Supposedly, if you, re I don't know, it's like if you record like a room that's supposedly haunted, you got to do it for like a couple hours, I think. But they say that you can hear like little weird sounds. Like it tries to, they ask you questions and shit. You play video games, Chris. Am I, am I in the ballpark on this? Yeah, that's not fun. That's not hunting Slimer down the hallways where you're smoking a marble red. Yeah, right. That they were awesome. smoking in that movie they were like still. Really exterminators, and they almost killed a fucking maid. It's great. That's the, that, and that movie's great too, because it's essentially just about three guys that start a small business. That's really the plot to that movie. And they do pretty well. They got office cool, comedy at the core of it. They have a cool car. That's probably one of the top ten movie cars of all time. Name me another good movie car. No, I think I mean, like the real, bunch, the like, real ghost. Like, what's that guy? The, those two guys that were, uh, well, were like plumbers. Up in like Rhode Island. Two guys are yeah, we they were hunting. They, yeah, hunters? they were hunting ghosts. Remember, they were up there. They were like, by, by day we work for Rotor Rooter. By night we work for what? They had this shitty TV show. Yeah, it was called like. Uh, oh, it's a monkey. 
when there was no monkey. What the fuck is this? Was this a reality show? No, this is a real show. The two guys. Was that called the real Ghostbusters? No, there was two fucking guys. They were both plumbers, right? That's and, the and, Mario Brothers. And then they would go, and then they would go at night. They would go and they would hunt ghosts. Yo, Chris. In the morning, see they would. This is real. Yeah, they would show up to the job in the morning, and their boss would be like, "What happened last night?" And they'd be like, "Yo, you're never know, gonna understand what happened." Are you just making this up. You know, they would just, and they know they would go. They, this is a real show. What the hell was it called? Ghost Hunters. It was that? Was, what is it? It's called Plumbers by Day, Ghostbusters by Night. Get what the was, fuck out of here! What's the name of it? Plumbers by Day. No, what's the original one called? This Mandela Effect thing is screwing me up right now. The original one called? Ghost Hunters. It was originally called Ghost Hunters. It was Ghost Hunters in. Uh, Ghost Hunters was no. Ghost Hunters was so. No, the original no. was, was Plumbers by Day that we, uh, 2005. Uh, it was on Sci-Fi. Yeah, it was uh, two guys. Oh, it was two guys. Two guys. Two guys, they were cool. They were pretty cool. Sci-Fi had a lot of stuff they just threw out there. Don't talk like that. They were, they were the best. They were from Warwick, Rhode Island. No, I never saw this show. Warwick. I'm gonna fucking watch it tonight, though. When I'm fucking home, I'm gonna find it and watch it. Yeah, they were two guys, and then they had a bunch of fucking other people with them too. What what, what were the ghosts like? Were they fun ghosts, like Ghostbusters, or were they like? Nah, it was always like some some kind of Scooby Doo shit. You know? Oh, it was never a real ghost. No, sometimes it was. Sometimes it wasn't. Depended on the day. Sometimes they'd be in there and be like, "Yo, guys, uh, you have a black mold problem." And uh, (laughs) you're hallucinating. That's what it is, right? You're all you're all uh, whacked out on stardust right now. Why your grandmother died? Not because of ghosts. She fucking suffocated to death on black mold. Get her out. Get your family out of this house, man. That's what they do. Sometimes you know you have to be. Uh, <laughs> you have to be a little. You have to be a little a rough. Hilarious idea for an episode. You have to be a little rough with people sometimes. Tell them the truth. We seem to be a little rough with them. You know, sometimes you're like, I think there's a ghost in here. I'm like, no. The fucking problem, lady, is you have an infestation of raccoons. They're stealing. They're Before stealing you start all. Blaming you. Ghosts. They say ghost is stealing all my bread, and like it's not. You have fucking ducks, okay? You have ducks. You have ducks, they're coming in your house. No, you, you know have... why? Because you fucking leave the door open at night and they come in through the back door. Imagine uh, ducks always coming through the back door. Which, uh, ducks it's... coming through the back door. Isn't ducks that coming like through a... the back door? It's a great band name. No, 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 no. Ducks coming through the back door. <laughs> <laughs> and that duck, you took my brain. <laughs> it was like, who was that? That guy, that guy sang at Woodstock. What was his name? He did Jimmy that. Hendrix? No, no, no. Oh, um, the, 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 with the one with the cerebral palsy. Yeah, yeah. What would you do if I sang What's out that? of tune? You've just been singing out of tune. What's it? What is it? No, I'm thinking in my head, because he also did, like, he did the uh, uh, Feeling All Right. Feeling All Right. He was like, let's go get stoned. Let's go figure out what's wrong with you. Are you okay? Are you having a seizure? What the fuck was his name? Belushi fucking impersonated him on SNL. Uh, Jan Michael Vincent? I mean, what a pull, but no. No. Jan Mi- what do you think about Jan Michael Vincent? Who isn't? Uh, half your, more than half your audience, which yeah. is only like five people. My people, audience so. has no idea who Jan Michael Vincent is. Oh, wait, your audience is my audience. Uh, they suck. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what you say? That's what I say, sir. What the fuck's this guy's name, Chris? It's really killing me. Joe Cocker. Joe Cocker. Thank Joe you. Joe Cocker. Give it up for Joe Cocker, everybody. Yes, uh, see, he did that. Uh, a little help from my friends is better than the Beatles version. Oh, absolutely, because his version was like, "What would you do if I sang a yeah. two? Would you stand up here, wall out on me?" Like, yeah. like I'm, I'm probably we're gonna get yelled at for so this. Bad. It's like, there's some Beatles songs that you're like, "This sucks." Like, Let me <laughs> all in. I'll say you were so I'm sure I'm not sing out, okay? Like, okay. Oh, I, well, will I? Did, <laughs> did. <laughs> All right, I'm fucking this all right here. He called Yellow Submarine. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh, well, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> we ain't living in a Yellow Submarine. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cockney punk rock fucking music is so good. It's is there so Cockney good. Cockney punk rock specifically? Like, like oi, like, yeah, yeah like oi, British yeah, oi. Like oi music. Uh, all right, where's me smack? Like, that's, you know. The swinging udders, well, they're Irish, but the swinging udders are kind of like that. Yeah, like, just that Irish. just drunky kind of... You know, oh, I'm trying to think of like who's a good like example. Punk, like like British the business. Yeah, the business course, is yeah. like a probably a really it's good ridiculous. example. <laughs> yeah. I can't stop thinking about what we do if I say <laughs> say you do. It's just, you sound it's like you just, you sound like someone hit you in the head with a brick just a little bit. Just a little bit. 
Yeah, it's like Jason yeah, Statham but hammered. Version of that song. Yeah, he does. Jason Statham but hammered. Isn't yeah. He like, oh, he's Jason really like, Statham. He's down here, isn't he? Jason Statham. Down here. Jason Statham. Is that Cockney? Why isn't the Statham Company? Remember Statham's? Yeah. Got Stakeham's. together with Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Tastes like fucking disappointment. Jason Statham. I don't like real steak. I like artificial steak. I like steak that looks like it's been worn out on. I like my steak to look like dried bologna. I like my steak to look like an old prostitute's pussy. I like my steak to look like my mom's pussy. <laughs> now I'm just trying to make you laugh. I like, I like my steak to look barely fucking edible. <laughs> I like my steak to look like the box that it was kept cold in. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another one. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of more Jason Statham. <laughs> you, like, you like your steak to look like pussy curtains. I like my steak to look like roadkill that I picked up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> steak, steak, steak looks like it was... From a Thailand, Thailand I like my steak to look like a Big Mac that was stabbed with a pitchfork. <laughs> Jason Steakum. Jason Steakum. Now available in 7-Elevens. You know, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see this shit on SNL. SNL's just sitting there like, hey guys, do you think we could do another? another? No, they're not. Jason Steakum. That's Jay what Steakum. me and Robert bring it to the table right now. What? Jason Steakum. Are was you it really? Kidding me? Uh, and Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt played Jason Did the Stakeums look like? No, see, fucking. Of course it was. No, don't bring it up. It was probably you. hilarious. It was probably hilarious. Oh, it was so fucking funny. I was having so much fun. Now I'm like, God damn it! I was like, this is so funny. Jason Stakeums. No one's ever thought of this ever. Fuck. Wow. That's why you gotta Google shit sometimes. Jason Stakeums. Ah, oh, fuck. Like, I, I mean, I'd buy it, right? If you saw it, it's like, all right, I'll try it. Anytime I see that shit, I'll be like, all right, I'll try it's it. has got it's bone in it. Like, look at that bone. It's just a bone. It's just bone. It's bone shavings. <laughs> it's just got bone crumbs. It's bone crusted. What? Yeah. I didn't say anything. You said it in your heart. I didn't say it in Joe, my heart. you said it in your heart when you put that hat on today. Just, when you put that hat on today, you said disparaging comments about immigrants. When you put that suit on today, you said disparaging comments about nothing. Look, I'm gonna I look, guess I look all like races. Nice, <laughs> I look like the type of gentleman that would deny you your loan. You look like you were like against school integration. That's I how definitely. You know. I feel like you could find me in your grocer's freezer. I feel like with this outfit on, selling cream cheese. Hello, yeah. Rob White here for Breakstones. You look like the first words out of your mouth when I walked into a store would be, "I got great roast beef." I do have great roast beef. Jason Steakums. Damn it. Jason Steakums. That was what I was trying to think it of. It all goes I back to Steakums with Jason Steakums. Give me another celebrity endorsement. There's shit. Something, you know, a seagull shit on your hat. So eat no, that. This is a, it's a paint. Well, you don't, come, don't act like you were working on something. I wasn't. This is what are you doing? Were you like walked underneath a ladder or something? What? I walked underneath a ladder. How'd you get, how'd you get paint on your hat? a wall. No, you weren't. Yeah, Stop. No. Stop it. You weren't working. Yeah, I don't have frail hands. I've got the calluses. Man's no, you hands. wouldn't. A man's, a man's hand. A man's hands. A man's, that's the kind of hands you like? It's a man's hands? What? No. What is I it? Cut need this a out. I need a man's smooth touch. Uh, dragon's coming cool. It's fucking coming cool. We got some yellows and stuff to go in there. Oh, not a problem, sir. Here, let's, let's just pull this up a little bit there. There we go. Okay, let's pull that. Oh, you you're stretching, your, uh, stretching yourself out a little bit. You already lost one arm. I don't want to do the other. Yeah, you hurt yourself last night. I did. We talked about it at the beginning of the show, but we yeah. probably can't use any of that. So we'll talk about it again. Yeah. Masturbatory no, accident. Last night and fucking threw... Uh, move my arm to her. I had, so, I had surgery on my, my right arm because I, I fucking fell when I was drunk. I'm sensing a pattern here and that I'm saying this out loud. Um, <laughs> maybe I should change some stuff about my life. But I was drunk and I woke up in the middle of the night at my friend's house and I fell on, like, I, I fell. I tripped over the ottoman. But I, like, 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 a, like, flapjacked almost. And I tried to catch myself and I caught my right arm on, like, a bench that was there. 
And so the rest of, I fell so hard and violently that my arm stayed up and the rest of my body went down. I thought I broke my arm. Initially, I was like, because there was like a dent in it. Like I was looking at it and I'm just like, this is, uh, this is not, this seems like something's wrong. And then I realized, so I did what I should have done. I went back to sleep. I woke up the next day, and I was taking a shower at my friend's house. I'm like, I guess I gotta go to the hospital. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And uh, I got out of the shower, and I went to grab a towel, and I kind of forgot that my arm was just, like, dislocated, and I went to grab a towel, and it popped back into place as I reached up. And I fucking collapsed naked on the floor of my friend's bathroom. His wife's knocking on the door, being like, are you okay? And I'm just like, please don't come in here right now. I don't really don't want you to see me like this, fucking wet, crying, and naked on the fucking floor. So... Uh, then I had to have surgery on it because I had essentially tore the tissue that keeps it in place. And it all happened because you tripped on an ottoman. Over an ottoman, yeah. I feel like that part is where I hung the whole time was when you said ottoman. Like, yeah, was, does your friend like? Where you put your feet up. Was right? your friend That's like a is... gay antiques dealer? Like, who? Uh-huh. Who has a fucking ottoman? Dude? That's what you have an ottoman. No, I don't. Yes, you fucking no, I don't. do. No, I've been I don't, to your house. I don't have those. You have like a fucking. Do. You have a closet full of ottomans. No, 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 closet full of ottomans. Listen, always, we all know how I feel about the ottomans. Last time I was over, you were like, "Let me show you my collection." You have ones that are from France. It's that was crazy. a hassock, not it's an hassock. ottoman, sir. Yeah, fuck your hassock. All right, I know, fuck your hassock. Listen, I know hassocks. Okay, that was no hassock. So your hassock. Cut all you, this out. You tripped this over. You tripped over a fucking beanbag. This bullshit bit that we're doing right now. We sound like fucking. 1930s vaudevillian Nichols and May over here. Well, Costello, I'm going to New York with you. <laughs> Bucky Harris, the ace manager, gave me a job for as long as you're on the team. That's what we sound like. Let's we... talk about drugs more. What's... What are we doing? <laughs> no, we're doing just fine. Yeah, just fine. Pumping this yellow in right now. It's rotary. Yeah, Bob Ross thing. Go ahead. Bob Ross. Yeah, just want a little bit of yellow. You know, um, just a little vibrant yellow. Happy dragon. Dragon, a bit. dragon your uh, balls. Yeah, he would. He would beat the devil out of the paintbrush. That's what I always say, beat the devil out of it. It was weird, right? Was he one of those guys that you always heard the story that, was it him or Mr. Rogers <clears throat> that they were like, he was covered in tattoos and he had like 14 confirmed kills in Vietnam? Um, Bob, well. It was Bob Ross. Bob, Bob Ross was in Vietnam, yeah. Bob Ross was in Vietnam. And then Mr. Rogers, everybody always said the reason that he wore the long sleeves is because he was, he was heavily tattooed, but that wasn't true. They tried to get Mr. Rogers for so long. They were like, he's got tattoos. And like, no, and he's like, he's killed like 17, I don't know, Vietnamese people. I think that I heard that about him at once, he, too. Then, he was, uh, he was just, I, just a good dude, apparently. What do you think he had? What do you mean? Because I see him like now, and I feel like, you didn't see like him well, now. back in the day, Skull? back in the day, we didn't have like any kind of diagnosis for shit. So okay. if you were like that guy, you were just like, he's just a wacky ass. I don't know what to say. He's a but, wacky you know, fucking, he's a wacky ass. Look at him. He's changing his fucking shoes. Old-timey medical yeah. diagnostics where it's just like, ah, you've got the you've got the toe foot or whatever the fuck. But now you fast forward a little bit and you're like, oh, he's got Asperger's or he's got autism or he's got something. Like, you know, Did he have Rogers same? was definitely like, hey, everybody, I'm Mr. Rogers, everybody, or however he does it. He's, Hello, guys, it's me, Mr. Rogers. And, that doesn't yeah. sound like Mr. Fucking <laughs> terrible impression. <laughs> the first one was better. The second one was so... That, sounds Whatever, like, that was Dudley Moore or some shit. Was, I don't know. Say, yeah, that sounds like Mr. Rogers on heroin. <laughs> he's just all fucking loosey-goosey. That's why it was that Lucy is it shoots as the one Lucy thing. Goosey. He's shooting up heroin before he goes out there to go to the land of make believe. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. King has a lot to say today. He just goes make believe, guys. I'm guys. King of Fish. He just goes he in. Die, they're dead. <laughs> the he fish. just he just <laughs> <laughs> laying to make believe. That's what it. That's what it was. Rod just leaves, and he's just laying in an opium ah. den as the girl keeps lighting the pipe, like like in the. Every time she comes over, it's like, oh, you're one of my neighbors. <laughs> like like once upon a time in America, <laughs> he's just laying there, he's lighting the opium pipe. And... <laughs> the, the dark origin of Mr. Rogers. <laughs> it's really funny. It's just some <laughs> fucking like apocalypse now heroin scene where he's laying in a tent in Da Nang and he's just fucking listening to the doors in the background as he fades off. All of a sudden, yeah, it pans in and you just hear, remember what the doorknob said? And he's just like, <laughs> <sighs> and he's dancing naked in front of a mirror like, like fucking Martin Sheen in the beginning of Apocalypse Now. Oh my God. 
Oh, we have to make uh, that movie, Rob. What was that? What was that called? Mister Rogers' Hearts of Neighbors of Darkness, maybe. Neighbors of Darkness. <laughs> One man's journey through the neighborhood on heroin. He just yeah. It was like Fred Rogers. A lot of people don't know the land of Maple Leaf was a real place that uh, a real dark place, the That's dark side of Rogers. That was code for Korea. That was that was the land of Maple Leaf. Damn. Just pretending that nothing of this shit was happening, but it all was happening. Oh God. Nah, I don't feel bad. It's funny. I feel like Mr. Rogers would be okay with it. He'd be like, oh, you guys are funny. He always likes humor. He was, yeah. He gave, didn't they, PBS named a fucking building after the winter. Did they really? I don't know. I made that up. Nah, oh, that's good. They should have. The Fred Rogers building? That's Fred Rogers awesome. building. This better be a Fred Rogers building. Fred Rogers building, Ozone Park. You done? All right, well, so ends another episode of Who the F is Rob White with my special repeat offender guest, Mr. Joe Winchell. Joe, hey, say some things. Uh, I'm just fucking happy to be here. Sorry I was a little hungover today, so I hope it wasn't... Hope some stuff. There's some stuff, good stuff in it. Check out the episode, guys. I Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, write stuff in the comments, and uh, don't forget to check out uh, rotgut.shop. Right? Is that correct, Chris? Yeah, no, Rotgut.shop. We will have all kinds of new merchandise in there for not only my show, but also Millennial Stoner. Millennial Stoner so. will have shirts. We're, I was just talking to Chris the other day about working on some new shirts, and we're going to have yeah. shirts for yeah. and stickers and all that fun stuff. Please, moderately priced, buy our shit. Please. <laughs> buy our <laughs> we shit. We love it. We love you guys. Share, share, like, share, and subscribe. Beep. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah.